Hey friends, today we are hanging out in Toronto and I am so excited. I want to go out and discover all of the amazing things you can do in the city and share my experiences with you. Of course, we're going to be trying some of the iconic food here in Toronto like the pea meal bacon sandwich over at the St. Lawrence Market, but I also want to do some of its attractions like the CN Tower, maybe Canada's Wonderland, and who knows, we might catch a Blue Jays game. So let's eat some food, explore the city and have a beautiful Toronto kind of day. Anywho, let's go do this. Toronto is one of the biggest cities in North America. In fact, there's only two cities in the United States that's bigger than Toronto, and that is New York and Los Angeles. So I'm excited to just go around and explore a little bit. One of the things I definitely want to do while I'm in Canada is go to Canada's Wonderland, the Disneyland of the North. I've always wanted to visit this theme park. It's really, really a very like special like theme park. It has so much history. And uh, I because there's so much to do and I only have like two open days, I only have like two free days, I think I'm just gonna make one gigantic video. Like I'm just gonna put everything in one video instead of doing separate subjects. So let me know if you guys like it or not and uh, yeah I figured we'll just crunch it all in there Toronto is one of the most multicultural cities in the world and in fact there are like over 250 different nationalities and uh, over 180 different languages spoken here and look at this beautiful swing right here I love it it's a, it's very cute and it looks like a couple kissing and then there's a pirate ship there randomly because there's so much to do in this beautiful city, there might be some things that I might miss. Like I said, it's my first time visiting Toronto. I did some research, but if you guys have any suggestions that you don't see in the video of cool things to do, please let me know in the comments so when I come back, I can actually come and check them out. And now I think uh, we're gonna start the day off by going to get a cup of coffee. I had to get my very first cup of Tim Hortons coffee and I'm so excited. You guys know I love coffee and I'm, a, I'm, I'm Team Dunkin' but I'm excited to see how good Tim Hortons is. Oh, and it's pumpkin season. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I think it's good. It's definitely stronger I feel like uh, than Dunkin' Donuts. It's definitely got a, like a stronger taste to it, but I like Dunkin' Donuts pumpkin coffee better. But I, I, I think I can officially say I'm a fan of Tim Hortons. Oh man, I don't know which one's better. It's too hard to pick. But I, I guess I can like them all. I like them all. They sell a city pass where you can pay a flat rate and get a discount if you plan on doing like four or five of the attractions in the city. So I decided on getting it. It's $99 and you can do uh, five attractions. And they have the CN Tower, which I was planning on doing. The Casa Loma, which I heard was the only actual castle in North America. And it was also used in so many movies, including X-Men. Like it was uh, the example. Uh, Xavier School for Gifted Youngsters. The Casa Loma is that actual place. And then they have the Toronto Zoo. So this uh, is kind of worth it, I think. I just found out my city pass is like good for nine days. So I might hold off on going out in the water at the moment because I would. I think I want to come back in the evening when it's beautiful out and instead maybe go to the uh, the castle, to the uh, Xavier's uh, School for Gifted Youngsters or go to the CN Tower because they're kind of, the CN Tower is literally like in front of me. I'm staring at it. The CN Tower actually held the record for the tallest freestanding structure in the world for over 30 years. And then I think they built something that beats it. But now it's still the tallest uh, building in the Western Hemisphere. And they have a glass floor. So I'm excited. We're going to make our way all the way to the top. We're going all the way up. Something else that's really interesting to me is I found out that people say Toronto differently and I had no idea. Some don't say the T, some say Toronto and some say Toronto. Like there's two T's. So do you say it Toronto or Toronto? Toronto. Toronto? 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 I don't know. They have a really cool experience where you can actually hang over the CN Tower. Look at that. Like they actually tie you up and you like lean back. I honestly, I wouldn't mind doing it. I'm gonna look into this. Maybe I might do this. I signed up. I did it. 
We're gonna be doing it. We're doing the edge walk. I am so excited. We are literally gonna be hanging off of the CN Tower from the very top and just walking out there with nothing to hold on to. We are gonna be strapped and held in by a harness and then they're gonna like lean us over and dangle us off of the tower. I cannot even, I can't even believe I did this. This is such a crazy thing for me to do, but I am excited. I'm doing it, I am so pumped. It was like $200 and he had to sign a bunch of waivers and stuff like that. Oh, I'm doing it. I can't even believe I signed up to do something like this. Wow. Now that we're all signed up for the edge walk, I cannot believe I'm gonna be hanging off the side of that large structure where you are staring at right now. I'm literally gonna be hanging off the side of that by just one rope. We have to come back because it's like a time slot and ours isn't for a couple of hours. So in the meantime, uh, maybe we'll go and get some of the amazing food around Toronto and then come back and do the most thrilling thing I've ever done in my life. I still can't believe I'm about to hang off one of the tallest structures in the world like i'm about to dangle from one of the tallest structures in the world this is the bravest thing i've ever done in my life i've never done anything like this and to be honest i know i'm going to say this a lot i'm going to say i'm excited and i'm nervous but at the same time and we have made our way down to the St. Lawrence Market. This place was actually voted one of the best markets in, like marketplaces in the world. And uh, I wanted to come down here to get the uh, pea meal uh, bacon sandwich. Paddington's right here is home of the oink. And they actually say it right on the side. Welcome, famous uh, pea meal sandwich sold here. Toronto used to be called Hogtown because of all of their hog processing that they did here and they have a signature dish called uh, pea meal bacon and it's a special back bacon that's cured and rolled in cornmeal and there's a couple signature spots in here that sell it and it's legendary. I'm kind of excited to try it and I heard that the place that invented it is actually in here too along with a lot of other amazing shops and on Sunday they do like a variety marketplace where there's a whole bunch of different stuff, antiques, and I'm excited to just go around and browse a little bit and get, get some bacon sandwiches. This place definitely looks like something I am going to love. Holy moly, look at it in here. Wow. Oh my lord. Is that a little dog right there? <laughs> Hi, little pup. I think I'm really gonna love this place. Right here is the Carousel Bakery, and this is where they said uh, they invented the uh, pea meal bacon sandwich. Oh no, it's cash only. I'm gonna have to get cash. You know it's good when it's cash only, but look at this. Wow, what a bakery. World famous pea meal bacon style. Savor the one and only internationally acclaimed pea meal bacon on a soft, country bun. The conversion rate here is kind of crazy because I had to go to the ATM to get cash because I got to try that sandwich and uh, I got $100 out and I think they charged me $88. So like uh, it, I got I, I got $100 but it only cost me 88 American dollars. That's pretty amazing and there's a $20 Canadian uh, note or money. I honestly feel like we have a little competition here between Peddington's and Carousel Bakery when it comes to the pea meal bacon sandwich. So I think I'm gonna get both of them. I'm gonna get both of them because I need to try it. Like they both have lines out the door so they gotta be doing something right. Another like kind of staple here at Carousel Bakery is this delicious custard. Look at this. They said it's one of their signature items so I'm gonna have to try that. I mean, there's so many things I would love to actually get here. Since there's a long wait to actually get my pea meal sandwich, I think I'm gonna try uh, this custard. Might as well snack on it while we wait. Like there is like lines of people waiting to get these sandwiches. I would estimate probably at least 10, 15 minutes. Uh, but yeah, here's a little custard. This is what they're, they're known for. This is one of their signature items. And uh, can I dive in? Give it a go. Oh my God, it comes right out of the little dish like that. I think I'm just gonna take it right out. 
I was gonna like like try to like eat it with a fork, but I don't think there's a point of that. So here we go. Look at how amazing that looks. The the crust is so flaky and delicious, and the custard has so much flavor. This is amazing. This is so good. You can get like six of them for eleven dollars. If this is the first thing I have eaten so far at the St. Lawrence Market, we have great things to come. And also, look at me treating uh, Toronto like Epcot and eating off a trash can. I already have my carousel uh, sandwich, and I think they had them pre-made because I just ordered it and they handed it to me. But over here, uh, they actually make it in front of you. Like, that you go and you customize it. And it's kind of interesting. So I'm kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm very intrigued to see which one is better. Now this one is a little bit different because they give you a marmalade. Maybe the other one does too, but I didn't see the offering. But look at that. Make the best pea meal even better with marmalade. That's it. Yeah, just some marmalade on there. Is there anything else that goes good with the marmalade? Uh, and in the middle, maybe the peppers if you want it. Yeah, maybe a little peppers. Let's do it. A little, a little peppers. <laughs> ah, that's it. I have no idea. I don't like this. Do you guys mind if I sit with you? Thank you. <laughs> All right, we have three delicious snacks. First, We've got the carousel pea meal sandwich. Now this one is just straight up uh, pea meal. And look at that. That's the bacon right there. Like I said, it's a special type uh, or it's the back bacon and then they cure it and then they roll it in cornmeal. And then this one I believe is from Paddington's or Peddington's. <laughs> I, I don't know why I have issues saying that. But, oh my lord, I feel like this one's going to be the far better one. This one does have marmalade and peppers on it, so it's a little bit different. The bread is already a little bit uh, sturdier. And then I also got this Portuguese donut, this lemon donut. Look at that. It all looks so beautiful. I'm so excited to dive in. I am like so excited to be introduced to a new like food like you know what I mean you know how Philly has their cheese steaks stuff like that and I think there's a bee flying around me so you might see a bee land on me at any point uh, but you know how like Philly has their cheese steaks and like certain cities have their pizza Toronto has their pea meal and uh, I know that the ones that are more famous are considered like touristy stops but uh, they had to be doing something right to become a touristy spot. You know what I mean? I say that all the time. But if there are any local spots that you think are better, please let me know so I can come try them out. And now we're gonna start with the carousel. So uh, here we go, Up my first uh, pea meal uh, bacon experience. I'm excited. Now, you could get this with egg and cheese and they have tons of different sauces. I just wanted to try it plain Jane so I can really taste what like pea meal tastes like and uh i like it i love it it's good actually it's very very good uh they definitely put a lot of meat on there the bread is amazing the bread they make in house definitely um i like it a lot and now i'm so excited to dive into that one because that one has like the marmalade and peppers but this just on its own very very good great success now, no knock on the Carousel Bakery because I do realize I got my sandwich plain, but this other one just looks better. I mean, it's because there's like marmalade, but look at that. Doesn't it just look so good? The way they got a double decker and they cut it in half like that, the peppers hanging off the side. You can see the marmalade on the bread there. I mean, that's... <laughs> All right, so now we're diving in and we'll try this one here. I want to take this part right here. I don't want too much peppers because I, I just want a little bit. I don't want I don't want anything to be overpowering, you know? So here we go. Mm. Phenomenal. The bread, the bacon, the marmalade, the banana peppers, even the bees like it. Look at come on bee. I know you want that marmalade. I know you want it. Just don't land on my face. Come on.
Bold spots were definitely amazing, but I think the way I like it now is marmalade with some peppers. I mean, I'm gonna mix it up and try some other things, but this right here, I'm definitely gonna get again. I do wanna point out too, that the Carousel Bakery's pea meal definitely has more flavor to it. It definitely has more flavor to it. This one, you can see there's less flavor in it, but it's, you know, making up, like the marmalade and banana peppers really make up for that. Now it's time to try this little uh, lemon uh, Portuguese donut. It starts with a B, they call it. I think it's a bova. I think so, I don't know. I'm really bad with words. I'm probably messed up a million in this video, but uh, this looks so good. I, it's so delicate. I want to be careful, but at the same time, I do want to break it in half to see what's inside. You know what I mean? I love seeing the inside of the food, so I think I might do it. Yeah, we're going to break it. Here we go. Oh, oh my Lord. Look at that. Well, I just had the best donut I've ever had. Like, it is so good, but it doesn't taste like a regular donut. It doesn't, like, it's, it's got a unique taste to it. I don't know what it is. Oh, hello, friend. Got pigeons? I got pigeons to my right, bees to my left. The St. Lawrence Market was one of my favorite places I've ever came and visited. I loved it so much in there. And I know it's hard to tell because like I'm making a video and I edit it, but I spent so much time in there. There's a downstairs, there's a farmer's market across the street. Like it is massive and it just goes on and on. So it's hard to just show it all to you in one picture. That's why I tried to like kind of spread it out a little bit and do it fast. Um, but now it's time to head back to the hotel and uh, then I'll show Show you like where I'm staying and then it's time to <laughs> go do it go do it I'm gonna face my fears here <laughs> the hotel I am staying at is the Fairmont Royal Hotel and look at it it is so fancy I love this place so much it's definitely got to be one of the fanciest uh, hotels I've ever stayed at that's a big claim right there you know what I mean and the restaurants in here are some of the best restaurants all around Canada that's what I heard the royal family stays here like inside you can actually see autographs and photos of the Queen and it's so cool and uh, yeah I'll give you a little tour and then we got to move we got to get going in the lobby they have these beautiful photos of the queen and uh the prince and you can actually see they have like their uh sign little uh, guest book down here her royal majesty queen elizabeth and then her signature and then his royal highness prince philip that's cool right in the lobby and oh they're signed on there too wow 1997 that's incredible, 1997. All right, it's time for us to make our way back to the CN Tower and uh, make our way all the way up to the top to do the edge walk. This is honestly so out of my comfort zone. I can't even believe I signed up, but I'm just so excited to be in Canada for the first time. I want to make it memorable. And we're going to be doing the world's highest full circle, hands-free walk. And it's the first of its kind in North America. Nothing like this, almost 2,000 feet up in the air. And we're just going to be hanging there by a harness. Canada's celebration destination. We're going to head in in a second and start making our way up on the elevator. And I didn't know that when you buy the edge walk, like what, what I'm about to do, uh, that also includes your way up and down and you can hang out in the area there. So I bought that city pass and I kind of have just like an extra ticket now. But that doesn't include the edge. The edge is $200 and it just comes with everything. But if you want to just come and go up and go to the observation deck, it's only like $40. But that's why I figured I'd buy the, the $100 pass because then I get five attractions included with it. Uh, but yeah, I'm so scared. <laughs> I mean, I'm not scared. I'm actually excited. I just, I, I just want to feel something. I want to live a little. I want to live life on the edge. You may feel it in your ears. That is very normal. Happens to me all the time. <laughs> Out of the windows is a north view of the city center. You can also look down at your feet if you're comfortable. If you're not, that is okay too. <laughs> and when you're ready to exit the tower, take the stairs one floor, one floor with the stairs down to the lower level for the exit elevators. We have made it to the top 
of the CN Tower and look at how high up we are. Look at look at the city. Those buildings look so tiny from here. But like we're all the way up. Like we're very at the top and soon we're going to be going outside to the next level. Like we're going up one more flight and actually walking the outside of this. You have to make a reservation and once it's your time to actually go up, uh, they give you like a little jumpsuit and some shoes and you basically have to change. <laughs> <laughs> like you have to and they metal detect you. I'm not allowed to bring any of my stuff up with me But good news is is they're gonna be filming it for me and then give me the footage. It's included in the price Now that I'm all in my safety jumpsuit, it's time to head up and uh, Put the camera away, but like I said, it's cool because uh, my guide is gonna be filming and I'm gonna be able to show you guys it and I'm still very nervous but very excited at the same time Oh my gosh, look at that. That is super cool. That dome is wide open for us. Come on out here and check it out for a, for a little bit. Yeah, there we go. We're doing well? I'm feeling great. Awesome. That's looking great. Yeah. I think you all are going to do amazing at it. And you know, why don't we show them who's boss first, Nate? Should we try that one first? Let's go do this. Let's do it. I think we can do it. So, yeah. if we turn towards the tower. All right. So, other way around for me. There we go. You're going out on that side. Oh, I might. Yeah. Oh you're, boy. You're going to have some fun out there. Okay. So, Nay, I think right there we can just sit right down into the harness. Right down. Okay. It's going to feel a little weird, but you got it just like that. Kind of lean back into the harness a little bit. That way we can get those feet out in front of us. There we go. Just like that. And then we can walk right back towards the edge. I don't want to die. <laughs> You're okay. I'm holding on to that rope. You're not going anywhere, Nate. You're good. You know, keep on heading back until those feet are just over the... Oh, sorry, the heels are just over the platform. There we go. So, just like that, we'll sit on down. And then push the legs right back. There we go, just like that. Straighten those knees right on out oh for me. Lord. You got it, you got it. Now I'm gonna let go of this okay. rope, okay? Yes. Now I want you to let go and give me a big high five. Oh no. Yeah, you, yeah, ah. there we go. Well done, you're doing it right now. Oh, oh I, my gosh, you're, you wanna I stay, love this. Do you wanna stay out there? I'll stay. Okay, just see if you can lock those legs out for me nice and quick. And then you can chill on out. Amazing job, Nate. I'm very, very impressed by you. What about you, Nate? Nice big send off here for us. I am so nervous about it. Just like that, you got it. Second there we go. Line. And then rope all the way out, and then you can lean straight on into it. You got it. There we go. We'll put it up against our shoulder. And once it's there, you can let go. Nice. Nice work, Nate. Very, very well done. Great job. Very, very well done. it. You got it. Nicely done. And hang on out there for me, guys. You can lean on it. It's good. But also, a good luck to the Jays all the way down there. So good luck to you, Boo Jays. You guys impressed me. I'm You're very, very friend. proud. Oh my gosh, you too, Nate. Thank you guys for joining me on this lovely Toronto day. It's been beautiful out here. Now, just as a little friendly reminder from your guide, Liam Swiper, to keep it real. Words cannot describe the amount of adrenaline that was pumping through my body up there. I loved it. It was amazing. I want to go back at night. I want to go see the sunset. And uh, honestly, I was so scared. I was so nervous. I asked uh, my guide, Liam, to hold my hand. I was like, honestly, and then I, I teared up a little bit, like emotionally, like, like, like excited that I did that. Like I did it. You know what I mean? It was unbelievable. And they're so good. The safety, they checked everything like five times. Like they had multiple people coming by and they just check and then recheck and then recheck and then recheck and uh, all the safety things. Now I do want to point out, you can't bring anything with you, even earrings or bracelets, none of that. If you do have any of it and you can't take it out, they'll tape it down. There is like a weight limit and uh, they weigh you before you go. I think it's 300 pounds, so you have to be under 300 pounds. And if you weigh under 300 pounds, like they'll, they'll, they make you stand on the scale. They make everyone do it. Um, but it was amazing. And I'm gonna cherish that moment forever. I really am. It was the greatest thing ever. Now, it's time for the Blue Jays. I got my Blue Jays shirt on. It's time to make the epic, uh, what are you, uh, transformation. That's what they do, like this. Wait, I'm gonna try to be cool, hold on. Ta-da! Look at that. What a transformation. And it looks like we all transformed. Time for the Blue Jays game. Cheers! Shirt family. Shirt brothers! Now that all of us are together, the Roosevelt's crew is all here, it's time to make our way into the Blue Jays game. Look at that. We're all fancy. 
I was just up there. Oh, there's people that are on it. Yeah, they're doing it right now. You can see them. I love how we're all wearing the same shirts. This is the floral city pattern, and uh, they like Roosevelt usually sells it at every single convention, and the colors usually match the baseball team. And uh, my very first Major League Baseball game I ever went to was uh, the Boston Red Sox versus the Toronto Blue Jays, and that was just three weeks ago at Boston Fan Expo. So I'm so excited to be here for my second game, and it's crazy that the Toronto Blue Jays, I've seen them two times in my very first two games. Like, I just think that's amazing. Wow, guys, look at our seat. We are literally in the second row. I love this stadium, it's so nice. And it's uh, like a dome, so they can open it up and close it. If you, if you didn't know, that is the hotel up there. Those are all hotel rooms. Really? You can rent a hotel room and be able to watch the game from your hotel room. Wow. Look at that, all up there. I think it's just about time for a T.O. foot-long hot dog break. Look at that. It's what fun. kind of hot dogs are those? Six foot-long hot dogs, please. Five. Five, Five foot-longs. Five dollar foot. Five dollar foot long. <laughs> Look at all of these foot-longs. <gasps> I went with just onions. I don't want ketchup or mustard. That is beautiful. Jeez. Yep. Wait, are you carrying them? I'll carry your drink. Is this yours? Uh, sure. There you go. Look out. <laughs> Look at that. That is a good dog. Yeah, it's got like a little smokeness to it. A little, it's a little smoky. Very, very good. Turn it out, George. Get it, get it, get it! Uh, the Toronto foot long did not disappoint. That is a good dog. I couldn't finish it all. I mean, that's a big hot dog. And I love the onions on it. The onions were great. The dog, the dog was a little smoky, and I like that. But uh, prepare, like if I if I had to rank it between the two hot dogs I've had at baseball parks, the Fenway Frank was way better. Like I love the Fenway Frank, that was good. But I still love this hot dog too. No knock in the foot long. Oh well, look at how beautiful this is as we actually leave. Look at the city right there. Wow, that is amazing. It's so beautiful. The Blue Jays game was so much fun. Even though they didn't win, I was just happy to be there. You know what I mean? And it's still amazing that my first two Major League games have been the Blue Jays. So uh, yeah, uh, like I mentioned, I think I'm gonna carry this over into the next day, call it a night for tonight, and then uh, get some sleep because I'm so excited. Tomorrow, we're going to Canada's Wonderland. Uh and good morning from Toronto. We are starting our day off here at Casa Loma. And I'm excited because we have a really fun day planned. And I wanted to pick things up from where we left off last night, right here at Xavier School for Gifted Youngsters. This place is massive and we're not gonna be able to spend a lot of time here. It would take forever to go through. I think there's like 95 rooms. It was built in 1911 by Sir Henry and uh, he only lived here for like 20 years. It cost him, uh, I think it was like 3 million. I was looking at some of the notes in there. It was like $3 million and then uh, he didn't pay his taxes. So they uh, took it back. Like they uh, seized his uh, 
you know, castle, and uh, then it got turned into a tourist attraction where millions of people come and visit, and uh, movies, TV shows, I mean, everything. Like, the, the, if you just Google the amount of movies that were filmed here, it is mind-blowing. Uh, so we're just gonna show you a little bit, and then we're gonna head to uh, the Fan Expo. I have to do uh, my meet and greet, and then off to Canada's Wonderland. <laughs> This is so crazy. Like I remember seeing all of the inside of this castle from all different movies. Like I found out it's just not X-Men. Doesn't this all just look so familiar? Because you probably have seen it before all over the place and they have tons of different rooms. Look at this all. This place is amazing. Wow. The library. I also wanted to make sure I used another thing off of my city pass since technically I really, I kind of messed up by getting it and then going and purchasing the edge, but at least I'm getting something else that, like at least I'm getting some other use out of it. Can you imagine just like living in this castle and this being your bedroom and then you have like your own private balcony uh, right outside here? Look at this. And you can just come walk outside and just stare out. Look at that. Man, this is such a beautiful castle. I love it here so much. Can you imagine what it would be like to have a giant hide and seek party in here? Like everyone just come and play like a massive game of hide and seek. It's pretty cool how you can just walk around this castle and explore the bathrooms and the bedrooms. Look at this all. Holy moly, look at the sinks. And I'm sure they, they have restricted areas where you can't walk and stuff like that, like right here. You can't really go inside or past the ropes, but it's just really nice to be in here. And look, they're even doing wedding photos. I just got back from the Fan Expo and wow. That was amazing. Thank you to everyone that came out and said hi. It was unbelievable the amount of people that I got to meet today. I love it. It was so awesome. Thank you so much. And thanks for everyone that came out afterwards to the little meetup across the street. I had so much fun hanging out with all of you. And I appreciate anyone waiting in line for me. I mean, honestly, that was like just... <laughs> I kept on saying, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. You know, you, it, it's just, it's really unbelievable. And I'm just, I'm, I'm shocked. I just love it. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Now it's time to get ready to go to Canada's Wonderland. And we have made it to Canada's Wonderland. I've always wanted to visit this park and we are finally doing it. We're in the Disneyland of the North. When Canada's Wonderland was first being built, they were calling it the Disneyland of the North. In fact, they actually sat down with Roy Disney and he gave them some tips of opening up a theme park. And when it first opened, it was such a great park. Eventually, Paramount Pictures decided to buy it and uh, they turned it into like Universal Studios with a bunch of movie-based attractions like uh, Laura Craft, Tomb Raider, uh, The Italian Job. They also had like Rugrats in the parks and then uh, eventually Paramount was like we don't want to be in the theme park business and they sold it to Cedar Fair and Cedar Fair they just kept everything and took the movie names out and renamed all the rides generic like names and uh, it's now the way that it is and I'm so excited to be here the history is phenomenal if you actually want to go watch a great video TPM made a video about the history of this park and it's called the Disneyland of the North and uh, that one video made me really want to come here so I'll put a link for his video in the description and now uh, let's go ride some rides look at this entrance isn't this beautiful Wow this is like their castle. This is their focal point. As soon as you walk in the park, like right there is the entrance where we came in. And it's like you're staring straight down Main Street, but you're staring straight into a beautiful mountain and a waterfall. Canada's Wonderland has all different themed areas and themed lands. Like they have the Grand World Expo that kind of reminds me of Ec Epcot a little bit. They've got Frontier Canada, Kidzilla, Action Zone, they got Planet Snoopy, and then they even have like a medieval fair over here. And it's kind of cool because they have their own castle too. 
Look at that. Like each area has like their own entrance way. And I love that. I think that's so, that, that's really awesome. Reminds me of uh, a little bit of uh, Dutch Wonderland a little bit. I really wish we had more time to spend here because this park is so big. Like, I know I'm not gonna get everything done. It's actually the like fourth largest park when it comes to uh, roller coasters in the world, and it's the largest park in Canada. Uh, but like I said, you know, we're trying to cram in so much in just a couple of days. I'm not gonna be able to get to everything, but I will definitely be coming back here. And you can't film on any of the rides, but I can show you some like media uh, provided POV, uh, and I'll insert them in whenever I do go on a ride. There's three rides I definitely want to do, and that's Yukon Striker, Behemoth, and Le uh, Leviathan. Those are like their big three, and uh, we'll definitely ride those and just kind of explore and ride some rides and eat some food. This park is so beautiful. Look at this. Wow. Huh. Look at that one ride up there. I don't even know what it's doing. It's just twisting and turning. But look at just how amazing everything is in, like the roller coasters are in the trees and going down by the water. This is a beautiful park. And look at all these Canadian geese and seagulls here. Our first ride of the day is going to be Yukon Striker. This is Canada Wonderland's newest roller coaster and it's that uh, drop one that I just uh, showed you right there. Yukon Striker was so awesome. I loved the dive, and as we just hung there dangling, it kind of gave me flashbacks to the CN Tower, but that was amazing. What a way to start the day. Now we're gonna keep moving along. Now it's time to make our way to the Backlot Stunt Coaster. I feel like I'm back at MGM Studios, but actually, this once was the Italian job, uh, I think it was called uh, Stunt Track and it was a roller coaster based off the movie The Italian Job with Mark Wahlberg and it's cool because the ride vehicles are little mini Coopers but once Paramount left Canada's Wonderland just turned it back to a like regular backlot stunt coaster original ride had pyrotechnics they had like a whole bunch of cool special effects and they kind of kept it the way that it is they just took out any like Italian job reference so I'm kind of very excited to ride this it's such a unique looking attraction especially the ride vehicles all clear heads back that ride so much I wish I could have rode it during the Italian job era and I wish I could have seen the pyrotechnics and special effects but at least I'm happy I got to ride it like now you know yo look at this lumberjack ride you're actually the lumberjacks axe 
and it's like it's like he's swinging you around. That is cool, and it's dual sided too. That's another really awesome flat ride. And plus, I think this lumberjack likes. He looks pretty cool. I'm sure it feels like we're just flying right through the park right now. Why am I standing behind a tree? I'm sure it feels like we're flying through a park right now. But uh, yeah, uh, we're just like moving fastly because I have the fast lane. And even with the fast lane, there was no weights. Like it's just walk on at this point. And I love it. We're going to keep going. I want to try to do as many rides in such a short time as possible. And I want to do Vortex. The ride vehicles for this ride are definitely unique and it's a pretty thrilling ride. It takes you up into the mountain and over by those geese. <laughs> what is your favorite thing to eat at Canada's Wonderland? Uh, funnel cakes. Funnel cakes? Yeah. Oh, what's your favorite ride? Uh, Yukon Striker. Yes, that yeah. was good. Woo! Oh, oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's oh awesome. nice to meet you. I'm a Disney World. I'm a Disney adult as well. Oh. Oh, my kids love you. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, say hi to the kids. Bye, Bye. Look at these ride vehicles. It's almost like Peter Pan's flight. Oh. We're going in. been riding lots of different rides and I think it's time to take a quick snack break and I want to head back over to uh, I think it's the World's Fair like area uh, and uh, see if they have any food over there I want to get something to snack on I wish I had more time I don't think I'm gonna go into Planet Snoopy um, or the Kidzilla area but uh, so far I'm loving this park I got a lot done and uh, yeah I, I really do I want to come back one of these days, we're coming back. I'm coming back for you, baby. The Grand World Exposition of 1890. I don't know why I said World's Fair, but I, kind of, I don't know, I'm getting World's Fair and Epcot vibes, but I like it. I like the uh, whole area. And with that, I think we are done here today. Leviathan was amazing. Some of my highlights were definitely Vortex. I love that. Uh, Yukon Striker was really, really good, especially once you hit into, like, when you go into the underground part section. That was awesome. I wouldn't wait for the front row, though. I, I went two and three because the front row was, like, triple the wait time I felt like so I was like I'm gonna stick to that um, and uh, yeah I mean I think we're all done here and uh, we're gonna probably call it a day or call it a video that's it we're ending the video I definitely want to come back to Canada's Wonderland though I want to come back and explore more I just didn't have a lot of time today and I'm so sad that I missed Niagara Falls but now I feel like I should come back up do Niagara Falls maybe do a uh, little Canada's Wonderland you know what I mean make it another trip up I didn't have much time I did a lot though I feel like in was it like two and a half days maybe three days so uh, yeah uh, I hope you enjoyed the video I enjoyed making it and uh, we'll see you next time bye